So let's discuss the addition and subtraction of matrices. Now, the addition of matrices, if we have matrices A, oops, if we have matrices A and B, and they both are of the order M by N, so they have the same order, they have the same number of rows and the same number of columns, then we can add them up as in a plus b so the order of a must be equal to the order of b and that is the only requirement we have to add a and b so let's just see a small example of this if we have matrix a here as this and if matrix B is this, and we want to find A plus B. Now, the order of A is one by two, one row, two columns. And the order of B is also one by two. So they can be added up. And how do we add up A and B? Well, we'll add up the corresponding entries the first element of a will be multi will be added to the first element of b so one plus three and the second element of a will be added to the second element of b so two plus four which will give you four and six that will be the result now remember that the order of the resultant matrix will be the same as the order of A and B. So just remember you have to add up the corresponding entries. Now see this example here. We have to add A and B. We have to find A plus B. Now First, we must make sure that they have the same order. A is of the order 2 by 2. B is also of the order 2 by 2. So indeed, they can be added up. Now, we have to find the sum by adding the corresponding entries. So, see here. The corresponding entry of 1 here is 2. The corresponding entry of 5 is 0. And as you can see in the resultant matrix, it's 1 plus 2 and 5 plus 0, 4 plus 5, and 3 plus 6. And this is the resultant matrix. Now, see the subtraction of matrices. It is similar to how we have done the addition of matrices. It, only, it also has the same requirement. A and B both be more both must be of the same order M by N. So the order of A is equal to the order of B. And in this case, we'll just subtract the corresponding entries instead of adding them. So if we have say matrix A as similarly as we did before 1 2 and B is 3 4 if we have to do B minus A well you'll simply just write it like 3, 4 minus 1 2 and the resultant matrix will be subtracting the corresponding entries so 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2 and this will be a result now see this example here we have to subtract a and b a minus b so let's first see the order of A is 2 by 2, 2 rows and 2 columns. 
and the order of b is also 2 by 2 so they can be subtracted from one another so a minus b well as we've seen before we'll subtract the corresponding entries so 1 minus 1 6 minus 2 5 minus 9 and 5 minus 3 and this will be your resultant matrix.